Now, Billy, let's bring in our next guest, or our first guest, I should yeah. say, of the day, willing to buy back your Halloween candy, Dr. Trevor Lee. Right. Doctor, Hi, hello. Nice to see you Thank again. You. Thank now, you. Uh, you, you, you do this every year? This is the fourth year I've done it. And, and, and what, why do you do this? I mean, because it's fun going out and doing the Halloween candy. Well, it's kind of, actually, it's a national program. So you can go to the HalloweenCandyBuyBack.com website to find somebody in your local area that's doing it. And it's, like I said, nationwide. But what we do is we kind of, you know, a lot of the candy gets thrown away or the parents sort through it and stuff. And so with the leftover candy, one, we don't want all that sugar hanging around because, you know, talk to a lot of teachers. They know when Halloween's happening because all the kids are all hopped up on the sugar and stuff. <laughs> so what we do is I buy back the candy. I pay a dollar a pound. Okay, the kids bring it in. That's pretty good money, right? Yeah. And For then, used candy. Yeah, not used. It has to be, un <laughs> it has to be unopened. Well, some of the yeah. fun's been taken out of that candy uh, already. Yeah. I, I laugh because a lot of it is the leftover, like what I nicknamed the pinata candy, all the little hard candies. Because everybody picks through it and gets out all <laughs> You're the... You're not you getting know, any Reese's cups, no, are you? No, no, <laughs> But what's cool about it is that then I repackage it, I ship it down to Operation Gratitude, which is down in Southern California. And they, in turn, put it into care packages that they send to our overseas men and women that are serving the armed forces. They'll pack in other little goodies like Beanie Babies or like if the kids have drawn pictures or written them a letter, they'll include that too so that way the men and women get a little slice of home. And I know people say, because why when you're in the service, the dentistry yeah. comes with it. Yeah. So why not, right? Yeah. Give it to those guys. Yeah. So it's nice. And they, they're adults. They know they're supposed to brush their teeth. And actually, yeah. we actually send over toothpaste and toothbrushes too. Yeah. So. Now, Doctor, you, you, you've been a dentist for how long? Over 25 years now. And now, when, when you were a kid, did you want to be a dentist? Were you that kid? No. Actually, it was something that was probably the furthest thing from my mind. So. Well, well, that, you're going to college. When does yeah. it turn to, wait a minute, I want to change completely. And, yeah. what, what were you going to college first for? I knew I liked life sciences, and I knew I kind of wanted to do something in the health fields, because you can't get into the medical field or the health sciences without wanting to help people. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but you have to have that altruistic bent, okay? So, and I, I knew there were certain things about myself that, well, I don't know if I could be a nurse, because, you know, as an individual, I don't know if I could stand taking orders all day long. So I knew... You want to be more in charge? Yeah. Okay. So, and I wanted, I knew I was a little bit more independent also. So... I saw people that were physicians, but they really, in certain cases, didn't really have much of a life. You know, they're on call. A lot of their education and a lot of their work revolved around hospitals. And to be truthful, I really didn't like hospitals because when I was in college, my mom passed away from a terminal illness, and I really grew to dislike hospitals. So that was one thing I thought, well, I still want to help people. I kind of want to be my own person. And I thought, well... Maybe dentistry's not so bad because I knew most dentists, you know, they still could do, spend things doing time with their family. They didn't, it wasn't very often that they would get calls late at night, occasionally, right. but not very often at all. And truthfully, most of the times it's not a life or death matter either. So I knew I was good with my hands because I always used to like to sew and do crafts and stuff. You can't be a klutz and be a dentist. Right. You know? <laughs> so I knew it was coordinated with that. So I, I really like it because. It's a combination of not only helping improve people's quality of life and helping their overall health, but also there's that artistic part of it, you know, where Talk, you can... Tell me about the artistic part of being a dentist. Yeah. Well, it's like taking somebody's people's smile where they're embarrassed and then you're making it attractive. They feel more self-confident. Even just a little bit of an adjustment or a little bit something just as easy as whitening. It makes it a lot of fun to see that big change in somebody. Now, the whitening... Mm -hmm. People can buy that stuff at the store, yeah. but are they going to get the same results as what they do when they come to see Dr. Trevely? No. Well, part of it is because it's over the counter. So it can't this, be as strong. Yeah. So that's the whole reason. It's not prescription strength. So, yeah, you think, hey, I can pay 20 bucks or 30 bucks for this thing, or I can buy it on the Internet the or whatever. The dollar store has some yeah. over here. It's not the same strength. And, you know, to get the same results, you'd have to buy it three or four or five times, in mm -hmm. which case you've paid that amount of money, you might as well come to a professional and get it done. How much does yeah. it cost? Well, I do a thing called Whitening for Life, which if you become a regular patient of mine, for $99, you get the custom-made trays, and then you get the gel. 
and each time you come in for your cleaning, like it's in most people every six months, we give you touch-up gel. So that way if you've got a big family reunion or a, a big wedding to go to, you can do a little touch-up beforehand because maybe you've been hitting those double espressos too many times. Right. <laughs> so, so. Um, the other way that we do it is what we call the Zoom whitening. You may have seen it on Extreme uh -huh. Makeover where we do it in office and after one visit you're already five to six shades lighter. Five to six yeah. shades? Yeah. And that usually runs around $300 though. Wow. But How I long just, does that take? That takes about 45 minutes of treatment time. That's it? Yeah. So maybe about an hour, hour and 15 minutes total. What is total. it? How's, how, why, why is it? It's a concentrated gel, and then it's light activated. So it's a special light that causes the reaction. We protect the gums because we don't want any of that material um, getting on over to the gums. And I just recently did a wedding couple, the bride and the groom, that like three days before their wedding, they wanted to be picture perfect. Awesome. So that was a lot of fun. Awesome. Now, you do a lot of cosmetic stuff too, right? Yeah. yeah. So... Does your dental insurance cover the cosmetic stuff? Yes. It does? Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. because the, the, the stuff that you're talking about is real, it's, it's not filling a, a, a yeah. cavity or, or something simple like that. It would it, be really, like, uh, like you said, life changing. Yeah. So what, what are some of the things that you, uh, you, you do all the time? All the time it's really easy, like um, say someone's had like you said, the whitening, they've had a crown done on her front tooth. That was when maybe their teeth were 20 years earlier. They didn't have as much coffee, tea stains, blueberry pies, smoking. And now that crown really stands out as different. One way we can change is we just change the crown itself and do all porcelain, because they used to have porcelain and metal, and some of the metal would show through. Or the other thing is, like we said, we do the whitening. So we bring all the teeth back up to what it was their, their sort of natural shade that they had previously. The other way is like with orthodontics or Invisalign, the little liners, you don't have the brackets and wires. For the braces. Yeah, and you can move the teeth gently into position. And so instead of having to do something drastic like putting a crown or veneers on, sometimes it's just a little bit to close gaps or to arrange a tooth that's a little bit crowded and a little bit harder to keep clean. So there's things like that, and that's are fun to do for people. Is dentistry getting more affordable? I'd like to think so. Compared to regular medical costs, we've been able with all the preventive stuff, you know, if you can prevent ever having to have, not ever get a cavity in the first place, I mean, heck, why not? Mm -hmm. yeah, so. Would you tell these people out here that don't believe me that it's normal for this to be my third set of teeth that grew in? <laughs> for him, it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it happens, right? Yes. I've had patients that have had not only the wisdom teeth, third molars, but they've actually had fourth molars. And it was in a set of two brothers. So everybody's different. And some people never get, like, a second set of teeth. I've had some patients where they still have one baby tooth, and they just keep it forever. No so. kidding. Now, where's your, where's your office located at? It's on Fresno Street between Clinton and Shields. We're just north of the VA Medical Center. It's uh -huh. 2630 North Fresno Street. You taking new patients? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah? So. How do they get a hold of you? So um, you can look on my website at uh, www.trevaleedds.com. Or my phone number, which is 559-226-3010. And for the Halloween candy buyback, just call, come on by. I've got the hours and stuff posted on Facebook. But we'll be take buying back the candy on Monday afternoon and on Tuesday afternoon after Halloween. A dollar a pound. Yes. Huh. So. I wonder what yeah, we could do to yeah. put together some big pounds of candy. And you know what? A lot of people know, just I, say, I just want to get the candy out of my house. And they kind of redonate that money back so that it can help to ship the candy over to those troops. You ever pick through and get a couple for yourself? Uh, it's hard to resist. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, always so, good to see you. Thank, thank you very much. A uh, dollar a pound candy buyback. Dr. Trevor Lee, uh, always good to see you. Thank you. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back on the bus. Stick around. <laughs> 